Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be one of the long awaited videos in the channel and that is Lamb Gameplay. Okay, so Lamb is a very fun assassin hero in honor of things. He is an original hero by the way. He is not uh, available in AOV. Like he doesn't have a version in AOV. So uh, he is uh, both an ability and auto attack based hero I should say. And you should only play him in the jungle which is where he works. Uh, you can say he's kinda like Quillen, uh, but only in the uh, the style in which he fights, like how he attacks. Um, but uh, other than that, he has nothing in common with Quillen by any means. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see uh, how this game goes. So his second ability is his main ability and also his auto attacks. So what you basically do is... Um, your second ability is like an area attack, he attacks around himself and uh, when he does that, if he hits one enemy, he will get two stacks and if he hits two enemies, he will get three stacks which is the maximum. So it doesn't matter if you hit four or five enemies, he just gets three stacks maximum. So it is very easy to clear creeps that are uh, like not solo. So yeah, that is uh, how he works and then Okay, their uh, Asenka just flickered out perfectly and escaped from us. Okay, I'll tell you guys how it works. So, those stacks, if you get two stacks, you basically get two auto attacks. See, I attacked that uh, Lady uh, Zen with my second ability, so I got two stacks. You can see the stacks below his... Uh, uh, yeah, see right there, two shark teeth, right? Those two are the two stacks. And what that means is, his next two auto attacks is... He will teleport behind the enemy and attack them and then he will come back again here because it's two stacks. So two attacks he will be going behind the enemy and attacks them. And see when I am clearing uh, like multiple creeps like uh, this uh, creep spawns in two right. So I get three stacks but when I attack a sage golem with my second ability I get only two. So it's better for you to attack more enemies so that you can get more stacks and also Whenever you use those enhanced auto attacks that you have from the stacks, it brings down the cooldown of your second ability by one second for each auto attack. So basically in a very big team fight in the late game, you can endlessly spam your second ability. Even now, the cooldown is just two seconds. But imagine in the late game, you will be able to keep going because your cooldown will already be low. And also the ult is really interesting ability. Uh, it is basically like Ras, Ras's ultimate. He just pushes everyone uh, who is in range. So what you can basically do that, uh, do with the ult is, I have figured it out. So what you need to do is, you have to push all the enemies in one place. So that your second ability can hit all of them. And then you can immediately use those enhanced auto attacks and get the second ability again. Use it again and again use the enhanced auto attacks okay so your ultimate can be used to group up all the enemies in one spot like uh, you can uh, push them like superman uh, like uh, target their marksman and then push them towards their mage and then attack both of them so you understand what i'm saying right you can use it to target kill okay see this is how he pushes uh, not really the best engage for me there but i was like getting kind of bored right there because i didn't get any kills from the start of the match so i just decided to go in there okay guys let's talk about his first ability not really the most uh, unique ability by any means but uh, just turns into a shark and when he is in the river his uh, shark form is infinite meaning that he can stay in the shark form for however long he wants as long as he is in the water but once he is uh, in land he will like come out after three seconds of uh, like diving and into the shark mode so he's basically like a shark guys okay and the first ability can be used while you are in the shark form to use it as a small dash the second ability can also be used as a dash but uh, the thing is uh, it doesn't go through walls but the first ability can go through walls if you use it uh, in the shark form also in the normal form as well okay and here uh, that is Grack. 
he is the void caller he he also flicker at the perfect time to dodge our ultimate so yeah these opponents are pretty good okay see as long as i am in the river there is no bar above my head but once i got out of the river there a uh, bar has appeared above my head okay i have three stacks now uh, but uh, it's okay see here i did something i tried to push the buff towards the enemy so that i can uh, get those stacks and uh, that i can attack the enemies like multiple times with my second ability in hands here i got the the quad kill and i have to get the mega somehow and that is emily by the way and i try but uh, yeah we almost got it but it's just a code no. name so as far as uh, it's okay is concerned i still doesn't i i still don't have even a single mega kill guys which is unfortunate but yeah it is what it is i have some quad kills but not even one mega kill so far okay uh, but the quad kill has put us on five kills so that is really good that was a lot of gold for me so i'm just going to try and kill this emily if he decides to stay under the tower okay there is no tower here uh anyways yeah now you ca you guys can see that i am actually getting my uh, second ability completely out of cooldown if i get three stacks and use the three auto attacks right okay now we get only two because it's one enemy oh i i thought i i, I really thought i pushed him out so that is also something you can do if, if an enemy is standing uh, in inside their tower go towards them if you have the enhanced start attack use the enhanced start attack once you will teleport behind the enemy right so whenever he uses the enhanced start attacks he will teleport behind the enemy and attack so that will be perfect for you to use your alt to push them towards our side see this is what i said you can use the enhanced start attack to go behind the enemy and then push them with your ultimate so very well uh, like designed hero i should say okay and also guys i forgot to tell you guys that the enhanced start attacks also gives you some hp back so he is more like a warrior than a pure assassin type of hero okay here we go in their marksman is standing out and look at the damage we didn't even need the ult there oh wait okay he died uh, to our erin before i could uh, get the double kill it's okay we got the tower um so yeah that's basically it for all the combos of the hero and uh, in this match we are going to be having some really awesome fights um uh, yeah look at the look at the healing the healing is actually pretty insane to be honest uh, the second ability enhanced auto attacks that heal uh, those auto attacks heal a lot like it might not seem like much but considering the fact that his second ability basically keeps refreshing his uh, auto attacks and his auto attacks keep refreshing his second ability so they like work together to like infinitely give you the enhanced auto attacks okay Dio Chan, that is the Princess Frost, got the double kill here. It's okay. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Uh, the hero that is behind me, that is Ming. Uh, he is released in AOV now, right? Uh, just like one week back or something. Very recent. So he is uh, like a healer type of hero. And guys, you can you should not use your second ability to go through walls while you are in the short form. Use your uh, first ability that will get you through the walls. So right now we are basically just one shotting all these creeps. One, two, three, three times auto attacks, and then shark form. And uh, the shark form stash is also not too long, so that is why I went around this uh, jungle camp instead of like trying to go through the wall because. Yeah, like I said, it's not very long, so you might end up getting stuck. Okay, I tried to use my ult to close the gap between the enemy marksman, but he also used uh, some kind of dash ability, I guess. I don't know what abilities that hero has. Um, D RNG, but yeah, he got away. Uh, it's, it shouldn't really matter. We are getting the entire enemy jungle now, and uh, like I said, our second ability cooldown is just infinite now. See. Yes, two, three auto attacks. Again, yes, two, three auto attacks. You can keep doing that. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to the next big team fight where I can uh, do the do the combo properly, like keep fighting and then healing while also going around the enemy back and forth, front and back, so that they'll not be able to attack us properly. Wow! Look at that. I haven't even lost a single HP. Okay, I'm going to target the enemy mage. Obviously, perfect. Double kill on their. Uh, jungler i think and uh, their mage okay 
Oh, the, the, their jungler is here. So that's probably their marksman. Because Emily is still alive. The yeah. others are all dead. Okay. This is a fairly short game, but it was really interesting nonetheless. That is why I decided to upload it. Usually the games in HOK go for like 20 minutes, but this one was pretty action packed and uh, the hero combos and stuff were really amazing and basically a snowball gameplay where we got a lot of gold and we basically snowball the opponents until they lose. So yeah, the enhanced auto attacks are the ones that make him feel like villain as you guys can clearly see. Okay, I went into the shock form and uh, targeted their uh, Asenka that is Lady Zen. We got the kill, okay, but uh, I'm letting my Ming die, sorry bro. And now see, 1v4 guys, 1v4. Look at this. See, this is why I said he is uh, more of a warrior than an assassin. I tried to like get uh, the, uh, the mega kill there, again that was another squad. I tried to get the mega but uh, yeah, it was just not possible. That's what happens every time. I just get so close, but it's just so far away. So, uh, like you guys understood what I meant when I said he's a warrior rather than an assassin, right? And uh, you saw how much, how tanky we were and how much we were feel, uh, healing ourselves right there, right? So, yeah. Very good hero in big team fights, especially if all the enemies are clumped together. See, this is what I said. I pushed their marksman towards their mage so that I can do the combo on both of them. And then we got the triple kill. And our Ming, uh, this support stole the quad kill somehow, <laughs> okay, and all the enemies are dead. So that's probably the game unless I actually decide to stall it so that I can get a little bit more content. But we'll see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, going towards the back. Oi, okay, I tried to use the diminisher. Okay, see, guys, hear me out. I tried to use the diminisher, but I don't know why the core attacked me the altar attacked me two times but that is cheating bro because i could only tank for one uh, altar shot with the diminishers blade passive but for some reason it immediately attacked two times and i just died pathetic but okay yeah so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful if you did make sure to hit the like button to show your support i really need all the likes that i can get guys and yeah we got the mvp let's now see how much damage we have dealt i think that's going to be pretty high considering how many times we were engaging in 1v4 combat and pretty much killing all of them okay we got the mvp nice so yeah he's a shark based hero his ultimate just spawns a shark right so that's lamb for you guys one of the best coolest heroes in this game okay so what's the damage percent gonna be show me show me bro okay 44 percent that's usually like, like higher than my typical mages uh, percentage but that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.